Yeah, David Dread of Steel Pulse, and I'm saying heal to Lion Voice because it's time that the lion have its voice, have its own story. Says I'm stepping out here. Hear me now. Yeah, the lion's voice. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> What do you have to tell the people about Rastafari? Light to the world. The king of kings and the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. I like himself. Where's your food? Hey, yo! Hey, yeah. Hear them high, hear the black king on the 23rd of July. So tell them guy who prays God up in the sky. It's a lie. The Almighty living on your night. Asian time, them a try Them Romans, know them just so in them suit and ties Criminals, ain't got no how to buy They stole my people, then them come spread out them genocide Are you talking about slavery? Them couldn't kill The lion will come conquer to the tribe Go to tribulation, I your nice tribe See separation, I your nice still rise That's why we tell them In America, live Rastafari in a every ghetto area we come to tell them in a Toronto And again, today's episode, we're going to talk about the family. I'm going to go into um, the Constitution, the Revised Constitution, Article 48. I see um, on WhatsApp, the people passing around provisions of the Constitution. You know, Sam, I love that because now we, we, we want to leave the surface of this tradition that we call Rastafari. We want to look at what did Haile Selassie actually do? What was the teaching? What was prescribed for Ethiopia? What was the foundation, the physical, the literal foundation that was set to allow an environment for Zion or the building of heaven and earth to flourish? Because that's how we look at Ethiopia and His Majesty's reign as being there to establish a foundation. The highest of himself shall establish I and I. First constitution ever in the most ancient land on the African continent. The land that had never been conquered by outside forces. So the fact that this um, last sovereign space of African um, land was brought underneath law, you know, a, a constitution, because before that, the, the emperors ruled by decree, meaning that, you know, the royal decree go out. The Kebernagas was there kind of as a as a, a, a guideline and the Fetanagas was there as a guideline. So there were other um, documentation that was used to guide so the, the, the emperors couldn't go outside of those um, realms necessarily. But, you know, in, in fact, in application, the emperors ruled by their decree and there was no protection for the citizen against the power of the powerful so by his majesty setting a constitution for the first time you know you really free the captives elevate the ethiopian from you know a, a peasant to a citizen which is a different level um, because now citizens were given rights under the constitution including in the revised constitution, the, the right to elect um, officials, you know what I mean? So these are great things. But one of the things, again, that we see in the establishment of Zion through the constitution is that the family was given special protection under the law. And everything that we see within Rastafari, we have to look at very keenly because as I talk to the sistren, as I reason with other ones, brethren, that, you know, I will also be bringing forward on the channel, this theme continues to come up because we see that trauma is preventing a lot of the work that we have to do to establish this heaven on earth of which we speak. Uh, big up all of the lion pride and big up all of the ones them in the comments. You know, some people, when they see what we talk about, it's fantastical. It don't make no sense. You know, and they share that and I welcome that because this is not a yes man channel. So put your opposition in the channel. However, as Rastafari, we can't let, you know, the spectators on the side, you know, sway us from the mission that we know that we have been called to do. And why we say Zion and the earth is because we can't set our goal any lower. When we talk about the hungry fed, the naked clothed, the sick nourished, the age protected, 
the infants cared for and his majesty says the ignorant instructed that you're basically talking about heaven on earth right that's so because that's not happening in the current creation um the current manifestation the roman the greco-roman um, reign that we currently find the globe operating under we don't see these things and we could argue that these things have never really been achieved in human history so these are worthy goals and his majesty again set the mandate for these goals for his children so this there so there's nothing less that we can fight to attain than the building of heaven on earth and this is why when you look at it from that perspective this is why repatriation becomes so important you know a lot of people say boy wherever you're there is repatriation but no the stone that the builder refused becomes the head cornerstone as a builder and big up all of our engineers we have a couple engineers at was the channel we have a couple builders a bridge and just uh, mention me in the comments and i'm going to reach out um to the bridge and we're going to talk about because bridge and have been reaching out as they see the content about their skills and want to connect so we're going to talk about that to the end of the episode of how we can connect because this is not a talk shop as you can see by the people i bring on the channel is that work is happening behind the scenes you know we're bringing on heavy hitters within the the immunity ones who are workers not the talkers because we don't have time you know for the theoretical part we give thanks as young Ross sit down and back and forth with woolly theory and that is also necessary that's that's the realm of the youth as the adults in the chat know our responsibility is to build whatever you want to say about our elders our elders left us bequeath us you know i and i generation generation x our elders left us with a with a heritage you know with an integrity with a spiritual you know um mansion that means that anywhere i and i go on the earth you know we get respect i can go to any ghetto around the world right now and while there's gonna be danger because we're not naive i have a better chance than most people on the planet of going through in an Irish fashion and most time it's going to be even higher because the bad man them who are in these areas they respect Rastafari we didn't do that that was established by the ones who came before us so we give thanks for the heritage that was bequeathed now our generation responsibility is to build institutions the number one institution that we must build is the family because when we look at these elders because of the sacrifice because of the persecution they were not able to maintain strong families there are few you know big up Irie Lyon you know I and I elder who came in the Washington DC uh, Mama Yanzi you know we have certain ones Ross Ivy, Sister Ivy you know we have certain families bongo rocky mama baby i you know we have certain families that were bedrock and i'm speaking from a naya bingi perspective what i come and see but there were very few elders who were able to maintain those solid um family structure or family unit ma shanti and pa shanti before him passed mama fire papa fire you have ones out there where a whole the family tradition and this is so key in terms of i and i and we know we leave out woolly for people and we know that you know there's a lot that we don't know so you know drop the names if you want drop the names or if you feel a way some in the mention anybody name drop it in the comments um so that we can edify ourselves but when it comes to family there are very few that we can point to in terms of solid family structure so that means that for us you know how do we repay the great sacrifice that our elders made we repay that by building those families so i call out to my brethren and most of my close close brethren are family man because i find that these are the most reliable brethren to work with and the most stable because when a man is maintaining a family he don't have woolly for extraneous time for a waste because i'm youth them dead and the youth them need them i have two teenagers so any time i have not you know for the nation building i have to put to my youth them because 
right now they are sponges they are putting in the programming of babylon online i have to counteract it with word sound interact with them joke laugh discipline all of those things have to happen and they cannot happen without my time and input so these are the things you know when you have a queen a queen requires time and we're gonna also do some episodes on maintaining you know a wife in this uh, in this hour because these are things that we don't talk about these are things that you know are somewhat even taboo in Rastafari but these are the things that are preventing us from doing the work because a lot of us are coming out of broken homes and that trauma whether we're conscious of it or not prevents us from moving forward that flight or fight response colors everything that we do so we're either fighting within our organizations or ones just leave it the flight take foot and gone and this is what we're seeing across and i'm going to bring on some sister to talk about um trauma and things that we need to do so everything that we talk about on this channel are the things that we need to move forward i cannot go on a corner in every territory where there's Rastafari and sit up and burn a chalice and reason and mobilize. But through the lion's voice, we now have a platform where we can have the reasoning, where we can make that impact, where we can reach out and connect. So before I, again, go deeper, I want to just read from the revised constitution of 1955. Again, Haile Selassie set the Ethiopian constitution in 1931 was one of the first things he did after being crowned and the fact that he was able to do it in 1931 shows that he had this plan from before he even became the king of all kings conquering line of the tribe of Judah uh, you know before all of them title was uh, put on the king this is what he wanted to give as his first major gift to the nation was law you know what i mean so in this law you know of 1931 it was very rigid um, because at that time we didn't have a high literacy rate um, the education the public education sector was not there so giving the people too much responsibility to a people that um, didn't have it before that were under the control of the great um, kingdoms and the great races would be tantamount to just giving your opposition power because the people are just going to vote whatever they're told to vote by the ruling ras they didn't have you know if you look at the ethiopian system they were you know the people had to pay tribute to these land all these powerful races landowners were sovereign in their realm so you know his majesty had to take his time um to weaken those bonds of power that the the races had on the people um again freeing the people all for one one for all working in this manner there can be no failure a lot of i and i as i know that quote so you know as the constitution evolved in this 1955 now the people were given the right to vote for the lower house the races were still uh, given power in the what would be the equivalent to the u.s senate the upper house and these were the you know the emperor's power was still um absolute you know um as expressed by the constitution you know the only the, the only confines on the emperor's powers were outlined within the constitution by the emperor himself you know under advisement of course um, because a good leader is always going to take advisement and wise counsel so in that his majesty made sure in the revised constitution that the family article 48 of the revised constitution i think it's available online you can go and look um speak specifically about the family and what does it say article 48 says that the ethiopian family the source of the maintenance and development of the empire and the primary basis of education and social harmony is under the special protection of the law so i want to just break that down on this episode here the family and the importance what does he say he says that the family is the source of the maintenance and development of the empire so our rastafari families are so 
critical. We have a responsibility for the maintenance and development is the source. The family is the source. It also says that the family is the primary basis of education and social harmony. That means that these stable family units is where the education begins for our youths. So if the family is broken, then the education is not going to be top tier. Social harmony, the violence in the society, the lack of conflict resolution, all of these things start at home in a stable and balanced household. So this is why His Majesty put the family under the special protection of the law in Ethiopia, meaning this the family and our problems. So if our source is not strong, this is going to explain why we don't have a Rastafari school, why there is no world-renowned Rastafari health center where you can go and get the best bush medicine, herbal medicine alongside conventional medicine, big up priest, scalish medical doctor in St. Lucia who, you know, is um, building out the model and the infrastructure. But why is there not a renowned, you know, um, health center, healthcare facility, you know, with woolly for sunlight where people not trapped under these uh you know dark spaces like when you go to a, a hospital right now in the west you know their their design how they design their health centers why is there not um these things you know when you look at the hospital food some of the worst food why is there not a rastafari uh world-renowned health center with the best um ital cuisine and these things why don't we have a rastafari university big up so so cool that is um, setting the foundation for these things to happen. And again, everything that I'm talking about, I'm shouting out ones and ones because guess what? The foundations are already being laid. But in, in, for us to take this to the next level, we need workers. Yeah. Oh, so far, right? Your light was a lifeline I think 
why Babylon them so evil Baby Babylon abuse as a child That's why them no like the light when you smile That's why them no like how your body curve The way how you dance get on Babylon nerve Them no know how the almighty you serve Want to be a queen so a king you deserve And I'll be by your side when things get worse When the city flood comes the damn just burst When you can depend on no state or church Firm like a man in an highly Selassie fur